To add audio into Godot, start by importing the audio file that you want to use. As of Godot 3.4, these three audio files are supported. Once you've done that, you'll need to add one of these three audio stream player nodes to your scene. The regular audio stream player node will play sound non-positionally. This is best used for things like background music. The audio stream player 2D and 3D will play sound positionally. This means that the sound will be changed based on where the player is relative to the sound source. This is best used for things like enemies or objects in the environment. For this tutorial, I'm just going to stick to the regular audio stream player. Once you've added the node, select it and head on over to the inspector. Drag the audio file that you imported earlier into the stream property. Most of these other properties are pretty self-explanatory, but one I do want to talk about is the bus property. This property lets you change what bus the audio will play through. You can manage audio buses in the audio tab, which can be accessed by clicking audio at the bottom of the screen. Here you can see what buses you have. You can add new buses by clicking the add bus button. I'm going to add a new bus and rename it to music. Here you can see the bus settings. You can change things like name, volume in decibels and even add effects to it. This bottom option allows you to change where the audio is output. For my music bus, the audio is being output to the master bus. And for my master bus, the audio is being output to the speakers. It's good practice to use multiple audio buses as you can change settings such as sound for each bus individually. Anyways, that's about it. Before you go, consider checking out these videos on screen about how to add a volume slider or a mute button into your Godot projects.